I'm here reviewing the yoga book, um, which was recently released by Lenovo. Um, I have here with me the Android version. Now let's see what's inside the box. Okay, so this is what the box looks like. It looks like a tiny little hamburger, with the only difference that you can't eat it. Um, we have over here the charger box. It's uh, just a USB charger with a USB cable, um, a micro USB um, plug at the end. And over here, this is the yoga book. Now, usually you would have it wrapped in plastic, but since they already used it to give a more accurate uh, opinion about the products, well. So over here we have the watch band hinge, as you can see it's beautiful, um, it's a much improved version of the traditional hinge, it's more reliable also, the design is just better. Now over here at the side we have a power button, volume buttons, I think that's a speaker port or ventilation, and then an aux port. And over here we have another ventilation or speaker, then a micro HDMI, um, which supports up to version 1.4 and 1 4K display. Keep that in mind. Now, in the box is also a pin, so you can pop this little thing out over here. Um, it's not flimsy plastic like they usually have, um, but it's made out of metal, so it doesn't break easily. Uh, if you want to insert a micro SD card or a SIM card, here is where you have to do it. And this is a charger port or the port you would connect to your computer if you wish to transfer files. Now, my dog here may be fighting for attention, but just ignore him. Now, as you can see, reflections are, well, there so um, it's a glossy display uh, do you notice a thick glass like bezel some of you may like it some of you don't but well let's just get used to it um, there is a front camera then I assume that the rear camera is this one here with the keyboard Yes, it is. And over here we have the Halo keyboard. And then there you should see the touchpad. Now, this button over here, hold on. This button allows you to switch between typing mode and drawing mode. Now, let's check this. Oh, it's how this works in real life. Okay, so over here we have a book. As you can see, I think this is a uh, high quality plastic. And a few sheets. Now I've been writing a few things myself. Now I will show you in a couple of minutes how this exactly works. Now here we have the pen. And here we have a few spare tips which you can use to write. And let me check. So this is the normal pen without a tip with ink in it. You can easily get it out by pushing it into this and then slightly bending it. Then it will pop out. Now let's show you how this works. So let's first enter my pin. Okay, I have a note open right here. Let me see. Okay, drawing mode is enabled. 
Now as you can see, over here, and I'm over here with my pen, so I'm going to write something, hello. And I think it's obvious that I'm a developer, so that's why I'm writing hello world. So, hello world. <clears throat> So now let's show you how the actual writing works. Okay, so now let's show you how you can replace the uh, pen first. So we're going to put this in here, bending it, and then pull. Okay, this is it. I'm putting this there now. Now we get three ones with ink from Lenovo. I'm not sure if you can order new ones, but if you guys want, you can always ask a question. So if you're interested in knowing if you can get more ink or papers, just let me know in the comments, and I will ask them. Okay, so it clicks right in. So now let's see how this works. Um, Okay, so over here we have the sheets of paper. So I'm going to get a used one over here. Somewhere, yes. Okay, so I'm going to go use this one. Okay, um, so right now what you do is you actually put it here on the palm rest or keyboard whatever you may want to call it like this then you get a sheet or a page and okay so let's first see where our pen tip is at over there and now let's write this just works this just works and then over here we see this just works it's as simple as this now basically it, it also aligns here with the screen depending on where your um, paper is positioned Also, it's worth mentioning that um, whatever app you use, so this is the official one from Lenovo, whatever app you happen to use, um, for example, let's just see what is there, Evernote, okay, this is not gonna work. Um, whatever app you use for taking notes, any of them will just work. Um, so you're not just limited to the one from Lenovo, just take, pick any one you like and it will just work. Um, now the Halo keyboard, let me show you how that's going to go. Um, let me maybe select... Hmm, something where you can type alright okay let's send an email to Amazon now every time you press a button it vibrates right beneath the button I mean the virtual button so you get you don't get real technical feedback of the keys but it's also something well close to it and that it doesn't make typing as comfortable, but it gets it as close as well it would be. Now, many of you are probably skeptical, but well, why would I want this keyboard? I mean, it's, it's probably horrible. I can't type on it. And the truth is, if you have a keyboard and your hand just goes like this, you see the hot, um, like here would be the left half 
here would be the right half but my thumb doesn't reach that far on 10, 10 inch tablet so if you're writing with a keyboard that stretches all the way over here I mean you have to hold your tablet and you have to type too I mean it's not just it's just not gonna work plus your hands will get tired uh, in my opinion you will be better off with this because you can actually use both your hands to type it still won't be as fast as a physical keyboard but it will still get the job done very accurately and the result is going to be a spelling checker depending on what language you're writing in um, so in my opinion if you love Android tablets or just any tablet in general and you're looking for something small like the yoga book just go with the yoga book there are no sacrifices anywhere you've only things to win over here I mean I think it's obvious also uh, it's something that I usually forget about when I'm reviewing yogas but see you can also fold it all the way around so you can actually use it as a tablet see and the keyboard is disabled in the process I mean you still have a tablet why would you go with a key with a just a plain slate if you can have a complete package like this if you're in, sitting in, in a bathroom or you're taking a shower you're working in a kitchen just get your recipes up here just make it stand like this or make it stand in a tent mode this is probably the perfect tablet convertible you can buy right now it's still not as productive as a fully equipped windows uh, for example this the surface or the surface book but it's close <clears throat> and hopefully we will see a bigger version next year but that's only something we can hope for um, the yoga book comes with 4 gigabyte RAM quad core processor it's um, the x86 instruction set um, soul maps may run slower because they require ARM translation um, but it, the, the difference sh should still be minimal because uh, Intel has been working a lot on it and it, it's been improved a lot I can guarantee you that um, aside from that there is not much I can say about it the screen is vibrant uh, we have dual band Wi-Fi, 2.4 GHz, 5 GHz. It also supports 802.11 AC, which is the fastest and latest standard, if I'm correct. Um, the WWAN chip um, supports LTE Advanced, which means you should get decent cellular data speeds. Um, if your carrier supports it, if you're stuck like me in an area like Florida where Sprint still uses slow cell towers, well, I'm even lucky to have 4G sometimes. Um, that being said, um, so let's just go to our verdict conclusion. Um, the yoga book comes at a reasonably high price. For five hundred dollars for the Android version, uh, but then again, it also comes with a few neat little extras like um, the paper book over here, a high-quality pen, and a Halo keyboard. The quality feels much better than the average laptop that's currently on the market, and it's unique in its own way. There is nothing that simply can beat it. The speakers are great. The screen is perfect. 400 nits and covers nearly 100% sRGB, which is the, 
probably the best color accuracy you can have. Um, the Windows version comes at for no five hundred fifty dollars, fifty dollars higher than the Android version, but uh, you will get the full desktop experience. You'll have much more possibilities. It may run a little bit more sluggish on Windows. Um, Android is fluent, but if you'd like to do a lot more with your yoga book, Windows is possibly the way to go. Um, either way, both of them would be a good purchase depending on what you require from the device. I suggest you maybe test them at Best Buy or anywhere else where you can try them. Um, if you have any questions, make sure to let me know in the comments and I'll try to get back to you with an answer uh, by myself or maybe ask internally with Lenovo for uh, answers. Now, thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe. Thank you.